Well, welcome back. Got a pretty good mini bike video for you today. Uh, if you're familiar with part one of this series, uh, me and my brother decided we want to get some mini bikes, so we went and bought some at a local farm store. I uh, ripped around with them, had a lot of fun, started tricking out the engines, but we knew the time was going to be short on these engines. Uh, they got a wimpy 5 8 crankshaft and knew that was going to be a factor sooner or later. And my brother already snapped his clean off at the side of the clutch. And uh, the engine, you can get another crank for it. But I think we're already planning to move towards buying some Predator Hemi engines. So we rolled into local Harbor Freight to pick up the tried and true Predator 212 Hemi engines. And uh, they didn't actually have any Hemis in stock. They're just non-Hemi. So my brother saw the Ghost engine. It was right after it came out. Decided to pick that up and roll that for his mini bike. And because I already built up a Predator engine in the past, I decided to go for this uh, 224cc max performance or performance torque engine and uh, roll with this one because I've already tricked out a Hemi engine before in the past uh, Predator 212 I did it on my uh, little mini bike project put all kinds of hop-up parts on it and it was pretty fast but this time around I wanted to do something slightly different with a different style of engine that's why I decided to go for the stroker So before I jump right into uh, mounting those new engines up, keep in mind, we've had actually months of riding on these mini bikes. My brother did actually break his crank. Check this out. Fortunately, I snapped the end of the crankshaft off. But after that, I, I still kept my stock engine on there for quite a while. Here's a ride we're going on where uh, we rode out to a restaurant. Well, tried to make it out there. There was a few mishaps with this, uh, mini bikes. But, you know, we rode them around a lot through the spring and summer. And uh, got a lot of riding out of them before I ended up swapping my engine out with it. And that engine I have actually uphold is going to go to a whole nother build series on my channel this fall. My nephew's uh, gas cap fell off. Found it in the bushes on the side. These tanks that come on these bikes aren't very good. I started working on welding up another one for it. Aluminum with a better sealed gas cap. Because if you fill them beyond three quarters of a tank of fuel, they just leak everywhere. I guess the gas caps don't hold on very well either. Continue on our ride now. <laughs> so much for a cheap exhaust broke right at the welds here <laughs> oh well that's not good just what i was looking for some wire i don't know someone looks like they burned up the tires here but this should hold that muffler on <laughs> i knew once we found a garbage pile around here do something with it oh dude that thing's coming it's yeah it's ready to basically fall off of there oh that wire is pretty brittle i can wire this up keep it from falling off the rest of the way for the rest of the ride I'll weld up my own when we get back So in the previous video, my brother ended up mounting some pro taper handlebars as mini bike. I like the feel of them, and I remembered I had some old ones on an old motorcycle I had. So I ended up pulling those pro tapers off and uh, salvage them and use them on my new mini bike here. So I'm going to swap out the stock bars. I got some 7 8 to 1 and 8 inch adapters for this and risers because I want to bring the handlebars up to about the stock height. I'm going to take off this master cylinder for a front brake, but down the road I feel like I might be putting disc brakes on this thing. So I'll keep this around for a future project. Let's get mounting these things up. So one of the cool things I like about these clone style engines are they're super compact, they're pretty dependable, um, parts are super available, and they can just be bolted in almost any chassis and powered, repowered all kinds of stuff. Uh, this engine is not going to go to waste, even with that little 5 8 crankshaft, if I want to upgrade to 3 quarter I can. But if you're familiar with my previous videos on my channel, I built a quad truck years ago, a two wheel drive version. 
Well, I actually got a chassis. I'm going to put this in a four-wheel drive version of a quad truck. So I'm pretty excited about that as a future video. Let's head over to the Predator, unbox it, get it bolted up. So here's the stock Coleman engine. This is the high sun that came out of the, the Coleman. This is the 5 8 shaft. There's the 5 8 clutch. Here's the 3 quarter inch clutch that I ordered for the new engine. So you can see this one's definitely got a lot more meat on it. So I was getting ready to bolt the jack shaft onto this engine. It turns out the metric hardware that came with the previous engine doesn't fit the side case. Surprisingly, the Predator engine for the crank and the side case holes are actually 5 16 fine thread. All the hardware stores are closed this evening around my place, but I found a little bit of fine hardware right here. So I think uh, maybe cut one or two of them down, but we can make do with that. So let's get this thing on here and fire this machine up. So I just pulled the heat shield off the mini bike exhaust and unbolted the exhaust on here because it would blow right back onto my fender. I do a little kind of a curve out here so it blows away from the plastic fender. And little things like this can get a little more power out of them. You can see this gasket isn't port matched very well here so I can trim this off quite a bit. Just get a little bit better flow out of the exhaust. So I just kind of went through and cut off some of the weld seam on this muffler and matched it with this tubing I bent. It's a little section of one inch. I'm gonna weld it on something like that so it kind of retains stock muffler for a while. It'd be kind of nice to keep the bike a little quiet, at least have something alternative to go back to, and it won't burn the hell out of the back fender. So I'm gonna weld this on next. Another thing I'm doing is I'm taking a die grinder and port matching it because this is how this muffler looked originally. It's just kind of basically a wall for the exhaust to hit. So taking a die grinder and cleaning this all up here so it has a nice smooth transition. So here it is after I die grinded it out and uh, smoothed it out with some sandpaper. Much better exhaust flow out of that. So, got it on here. Word of advice, see the little red throttle flap they're moving? If you mount one of these on a mini bike, get rid of it right away. I was pulling a wicked wheelie across my driveway and my leg caught it and it almost looped out so bad. So, cut that throttle flap off of that thing. So if you enjoy my video so far, I definitely recommend checking out Olympic Overland's mini bike video. Links below in the description. I think you'll like it a lot. All right, got both the engines broken in. Ghost running bone stock, other than he just put that little gas tank up above because they don't come, of course, with the fuel tank. And to make a fair comparison, this is basically bone stock. I slightly uh, did a little porting where the exhaust matched the head and opened it up just a little bit here and put this little tube on here. And I did a zip tie bypass and pulled off the throttle stop back here. I wouldn't really recommend that with the cast iron flywheel on this machine, but we're gonna do a quick little speed run on these things and uh, compare them. So ready to do a little race? Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go! 
All right, so you upgraded carbs on this thing, right? Yeah, so here's my stock carb. And this is a cool little intake manifold. It's not bad. I had to make this adapter for my air filter. This is just a uh, PZ22. Pretty small intake. It's a pretty thing. small throat. The slider's tinier. Um, and I had a VM22, which even though it's a 22, it still actually has a bigger throat. It's probably closer to a 26 millimeter. And the slider's quite a bit larger. But this is also my curved intake manifold off the Tillotson 225R. All right, let's go take it for a speed run and see uh, how these things compare after the upgraded car. So after getting a few months on this 224 Max Performance Predator engine, I really like the power of this thing. It actually has a lot of low end torque. It's been a pretty good machine. I'm kind of apprehensive about changing anything on the engine because it just works and performs pretty dang good for this mini bike. Uh, besides the cast iron uh, flywheel, that's basically a grenade waiting to blow up next to your leg. So I'll probably modify that one, but just been having a blast on it right out of the box. It's really torquey. I think it'd be great for a mini bike or a go-kart. Next plan is a protocol for this thing. Let's get rid of this crummy Coleman seat. My back cannot handle it. Definitely help moving the foot pegs back so I can stand over them a little more for off-roading. But uh, I got another motorcycle seat here that we're gonna butcher up. I think it's gonna make a nice improvement to this thing. Okay, so this is a traditional motorbike seat would sit this way. Of course, we're not gonna mount it like that. This thing's gonna get modified heavily before it gets put on here. I'm gonna actually flip around backwards. <laughs> and, uh, this kind of represents some 70s style here. It's not going to actually look like this when it's done. This is going to get cut back and trimmed down. So I'm going to make this work. Just got to pull off the seat cover, trim the pan, make some mounts. This should be a lot nicer foam to ride on here though. Feels pretty good, nice and plush. Also makes the bike sit up a little bit taller being a adult on this thing rather than a kid. I think it's gonna make it more fun for just cruising around and save the back with that more plush seat. So take it out for a cruise and see how it does.
So like I said earlier in the video, I was pretty apprehensive about modifying this uh, 224 stroker engine just because it made great power the way it was, but I don't know. Power got the best of me and I ordered up a performance kit. So the next video will be doing some hot rod into this uh, 224 and um, should actually have a lot of power after this mod. So uh, keep an eye out for that next video. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Take care. Bye.